You are so not invited to my bat mitzvah. That is probably the most unique movie title that will come out of this year. But this is a hidden gem that is exclusive to Netflix. It stars Adam Sandler, Adina Menzel, and Adam Sandler's two daughters, Sadie and Sonny. This is already one of the most endearing Happy Madison projects in history. So Sandler's daughter, Sonny, plays Stacy Friedman. Her BFF is named Lydia, and they've always dreamed about having epic bat mitzvahs with the amazing entrance videos, the awesome DJs, and all the brouhaha. But things start to go haywire when a popular boy in middle school drama threatens their their friendship and their rite of passage. And what you get is a coming of age movie and I love this genre. I love those old school coming of age comedy dramas like Breakfast Club, Ferris Bueller, all that jazz. And You Are So Not Invited to My Bat Mitzvah honestly was kind of a great homage to what John Hughes was doing back in the day. Because at its core, this movie is not only a super charming and super sweet narrative, but at the crux of it are great and relatable characters, including Stacy, who is played by Sandler's daughter, Sonny, second generation talent, and I cannot wait to see what she does next after this, because... Oh my god, she was so good. I think a good number of us have been through the lot of middle school conundrums that Stacy goes through in this. So a lot of us may find Stacy to be a very relatable character. A young man getting in between two best friends and basically forming this love triangle in a sense. Like, yeah, no, you can't really say that that hasn't happened in everybody's life. And I think the movie absolutely understands the emotional content here, while also being charmingly funny. I know I've had my fair share to say about Happy Madison projects in the past. It's very much a mixed bag. You can have really good projects like Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison, the two namesakes of the studio. You can have movies like Click that you know there's a good concept in there, but... The sophomore humor just really holds it back from its fullest potential. And then, of course, you have movies like Grown Ups, The Bench Warmers, which is just sophomore humor all the way through. And man, it feels like whenever Adam Sandler wants to turn on the charm, whenever he wants to turn on the dramatic chops, he certainly does that. And surprise, surprise, he's performing with his two daughters in this movie. And surprise, they have great chemistry. Adam Sandler's character is a father who likes to go to the movie theaters with his kids a lot. Like, he's a movie junkie. He will go there, have popcorn with extra butter, and eat a bunch of Sour Patch Kids. Yeah, that sounds like yours truly a little bit. So yeah, definitely could get behind his character as well. Adina Menzel plays the mother in this. Man, is she great. Definitely more of a supporting role because the story is very much centered around these children. But Adina Menzel, once again, along with Adam Sandler, great parenting. You also have Adam Sandler's wife playing the mother of Stacy's best friend in this. And she was really solid also. I feel like especially in these past number of years, I have very much softened on Happy Madison releases. Because, because when they want to turn it on and when they click and when they want to give you a good project... They can do that. And You Are So Not Invited to My Bat Mitzvah is a cute movie. It's definitely very relatable. I do have a couple issues with it, though. Number one, yes, you do have a more modern soundtrack in here, which you probably hear at a lot of middle school dances, and that part is fine. But I feel like a lot of the editing was done almost to replicate what a music video would do, as opposed to a straight-up feature. Now, I don't know if that's a miscue of direction or post-production or what, but... It just wasn't really vibing with me. And I also feel like the main drama that we get to between the two friends, it does feel very forced. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to spoil exactly what happens or what causes this drama, but one side of the argument basically blames the other side for doing something that they were hurt by. And I was like, wait a minute, I have to rewind this and see if I actually found that. And I didn't really see it. I don't know if I'm just stupid or if I'm blind or if I'm oblivious or what. And I don't know if it was just me, but it almost feels like the screenplay was looking for the drama. And then, okay, we don't have a movie without this drama and without this coming of age friction. So here you go. I didn't mind the conflict, but... I mean, it could have been handled a lot more cleaner than it was. But with that being said, I mean, this is a cute movie. I think it's going to fly under the radar like Hustle did last year, also starring Adam Sandler. It's a really good Netflix release. I think, again, when Adam Sandler wants to really showcase all of his talents, he can do that. He doesn't have to have the sophomore humor shackling him all the time. And I do think his two daughters, Sadie and Sonny, have a very bright future if they want to continue on in this industry. I think both of them showcase tons of potential in this.
I'm gonna give You Are So Not Invited to My Bat Mitzvah a B+. All in all, if you're looking for a solid Netflix release, this is a good one to check out. Yeah, goodness, I tried to say that title as many times as I could in this video, but... <laughs> It's uh, it's tough. It's really, really tough when you have a long title like that. Let me know what you thought of You Are So Not Invited to My Bat Mitzvah down in the comments section below. What is your favorite Happy Madison project that's ever been put out? This can be a very polarizing topic, and I'm very curious to hear what you guys think. Guys, I love making these videos and discussing all new things in the cinema world. Do consider subscribing and tap on that thumbs up as well on your way out. This only helps continue to grow this awesome community that we all are over here, and y'all are invited to the party. Guys, stay tuned for more videos very soon. I am opening up my next play next weekend, so I appreciate your guys' patience with me as I continue to crank out this content. Keep an eye out for my review of The Equalizer 3, I still, at the time of recording, have not sat down to watch that movie yet. So, so once again, please be patient with me. I will get to that movie, and I will talk about it. Lots to look forward to, though, guys. Y'all are the best. Thank you so much again for your support. And with all that being said, back talk, commence. Yeah.